Hey everybody, welcome back to Blal Dev. Today we're gonna to be going over the top five resources that you can use to debug your Flutter application. And we're gonna do this in under five minutes. The first and most obvious tool that you can use to debug your Flutter application is Google. Nine times out of 10, when you Google the error that you're seeing in your console or whatever's going wrong with your Flutter application, you'll get a load of different resources ranging from Medium to dev articles to GitHub issues to uh, documentation, all covering the issue that you have. That's typically my first source that I go to um, when I run into an error in my Flutter application. The second place that I typically look when I'm working on my Flutter application is the Flutter documentation, specifically the Flutter widget index. Typically, I go here when I'm dealing with a widget-specific issue not necessarily an error that comes up in my code. And so I'll often consult this. Um, if you click on any of uh, these widgets, let's take uh, animated widget, for example, you'll see video snippets on how to use it. You'll see sample code on how to implement it. And you'll see various different information and documentation on the different properties available within that widget. And so it's a great resource to use when debugging your app. The next resource that I typically go to is Stack Overflow. Oftentimes you'll actually find Stack Overflow articles show up in your Google search. And so it kind of you know, goes through that process anyways. But this is a great resource to find and to ask questions if you have any. I've had several occasions where the answer is simply not documented anywhere. And so I posed the question on to Stack Overflow and quickly got a response from the community. Keep in mind, there are pretty strict conditions to ask questions. So make sure you read all of the instructions prior to posting one, but it's a very useful resource that you can use to answer your questions. The next resource that I typically consult if Stack Overflow doesn't work out for me is the Flutter Slack channel. There's also a Discord channel as well, which serves a similar purpose. Um, there's a bunch of different channels within the Slack communities where you can ask questions based on what type of criteria the question that you're asking fits. Um, ranging from Firebase to beginner, backend, advanced questions, front eye articles, front end articles, uh, video tutorials that people post, written tutorials that people write. Um, there's various amounts of information that you can get to help you in building your Flutter application. You can also meet up with other people um, and show off your work and get help in reviewing your Flutter application if you need that. The final resource in our top five resources list is YouTube, exactly what you're watching right now. Not just my channel, there are dozens and dozens of different Flutter channels and communities out here showing tutorials and information that will help you in building your projects. For a full comprehensive list of some of these channels, uh, you can check out Tadas Petra's Twitter page. He puts out a weekly top 30 Flutter channels uh, post on his Twitter profile. And so you can check that out. I'll attach a link below to the latest one. I hope that you're either already using or planning on using some of these resources because they are all fantastic helps. There are plenty of other resources available out there from blogs to social media platforms and other examples, but these are my top five resources that you can consult when working on your Flutter project to debug any issues that you have. If you found this video useful, please click that like button, subscribe to the channel so others can find it as well, and I'll catch you guys next time.